Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking. I haven't been this excited about a gun in a very, very long time. Uh, it's always the case when it's uh, quite a long time in the making. This wasn't too long, but the whole idea of this actually started back, I would say probably around January or so, uh, just about late January. So it's now almost June and it's finally all put together. So certainly I'm pumped about it. I think the easiest way to break down what I have here is to start with kind of why this project even happened in the first place. Uh, real quickly, this is a Weatherby Mark V, Carbon Mark Elite, N65 Creedmoor, and the new Vortex LHT. So we got out the way. This optic and this setup in particular are really, really cool and like just a perfect match. Uh, but the whole reason this happened is this optic. Now, Vortex actually reached out to me. I, I love Vortex optics. We got a good relationship and I'm super fortunate about that. They reached out to me before this scope came out saying, hey, Brandon, we're coming out with a new addition to our Razor lineup, Vortex lineup. They have the Razor as their top end. We're coming out with a new Razor product, top end for our hunting rifle series, the LHT. They have LH, which is light hunting. This LHT, if you could imagine, now tactical, light hunting, tactical. So it's a hunting optic, but it's got an exposed locking turret now for elevation. It's got illumination, the, um, the crosshair itself, the new reticle, I should say. It's got some more information um, for windage and elevation and, uh, and drop and everything. So as it is, and it's a 3 to 15 by 42, as it is, it's a very great uh, hunting optic with more features than you might need. But it's also for recreation shooting, long range shooting, it can certainly do it as well. But it strips some of the things that you don't need uh, for weight reduction. And as it goes, this thing is ghostly light. To get this scope and put it on some heavy, I don't know, a Barrett MRAD, for example, kills the point totally. For recreational shooting rifles or competition bench rest rifles, they're going to have super heavy stocks, heavy barrels. They're going to be heavy guns, and that's fine for that purpose. When you're doing a hunting rifle, Remington 700 ADL or Savage 111 pencil barrel, really, really no thrill stock. That's when a light optic makes sense, but that's not the kind of gun that excites me. Now, when Vortex said that they were gonna do this cool hybrid optic, that's super lightweight with tactical features, I really wanted a gun to match. And I looked around and every gun I would have had is way too heavy and it would have defeated the purpose. So the idea started turning. I was at SHOT Show and I saw a couple rifles that were carbon fiber barrels, a couple bullet actions with car uh, carbon fiber stocks. And I thought the two of those with that optic would be the perfect match. So I was introduced to Weatherby. I've known about Weatherby in the past, uh, knowing that they make really, really high-end hunting rifles. But of course, that's not something I needed, so I didn't look too heavily into it until recently. And I found out that they make such thing as this here, the Mark V Carbon Mark Elite. The Elite is this stock, full carbon fiber stock. I'll have to get some close-ups later, but look at that. We'll talk about the color in a second, but carbon fiber stock. The Elite is the one with this comb height adjustment. It's got this little cutout here for better ergonomics for riding on like a rear bag or something like that. Overall, just a really athletic looking stock. You see how it kind of tapers in here. It's really nice and narrow. More often than not, I'll probably not have a bipod in here, on here just for the sake of lightweight, but for this video, Harris six to nine inch on there for now. We've got, I believe it's a 22 inch barrel. Again, carbon fiber, nothing fake on this. That's all real carbon fiber. And it's just gorgeous for one. So let's just get mature. It looks awesome. But now the rifle is ghostly lightweight. You pick it up and you think it's going to be way heavier than it really is. But that's also true for the scope. When you mount all these, all of it together, even with the bipod, which again, I won't normally run, the thing is way lighter than it should be. Just the dimensions of it and everything, it's just ridiculous. So what we have here is what I think, at least in my arsenal, it's the by far the best hybrid rifle between wanting to do long range recreational shooting and hunting. It's not too cumbersome to shoot and it's super capable to shoot long range. At least it should be. That's what we're going to do in this video. But uh, super cool. They offer quite a bit of different uh, camo options on their website, uh, on their custom shop. I, uh, I thought this one looked the craziest um, and I wanted something loud. So although it is a hunting rifle, I don't know what I'm going to be blending in with. I just thought it looked straight up cool. And uh, so sometimes that's all the justification you need. I just love the custom guns. I got to choose all the little bits to it. I chose the spiral bolt, the uh, bolt knob as well, spiraled in black. And then I chose tungsten for the barrel and the, um, and the well, action. They do guarantee MOA with match ammunition and the craftsmanship and everything. It's, it's just fantastic. So 
if you wanted it exactly equipped like this, minus the bipod and scope and mount and all that, it's looking just around $3,700 or $3,800, just about. So go ahead and configure one for yourself and you can kind of see. Uh, but oh my goodness, it's just drop dead gorgeous. And yeah, just functionally, this coupled with this optic, it's just ridiculously lightweight. So as you would expect. Uh, the way you see it right now with the bipod, it's about 9.6 pounds. To give you a little bit of perspective on just how light that is, uh, let's start with the crazy example. The Barrett uh, M82 with a Lua pulled Mark IV is about 32 pounds. The APR Ranger or Alamo Precision Rifle Ranger with the Steiner T5XI, that thing's just a hair under 16 pounds. So the weight difference with that 6.5 bolt gun and this 6.5 bolt gun is an AR-15. That's the weight difference. You guys can understand just how light this thing is. All right, we're going to do zero on windage for now and 2.6 for elevation, 455. Let's see what that does. If I'm wrong on windage, we'll try to correct it. I don't want to jinx it, but that looks like a nice little grouping on those two on the left side. Man, that's a really good group. Just get this five for five real quick, see if we can stack it right within that little vicinity there. Yeah, we had, uh, I think, three right on the edge there, and then I corrected a little bit to get it more centered, and then that kind of followed suit, but that's a really tight group, actually. Right, let's do one more. Yeah, oh, those last three are right on each other. That's pretty awesome. There is no denying though that under good lighting like this, this is definitely razor glass though. The razor series, the Japanese glass is awesome. All right. Uh, held over too much. Center punched that one. I didn't have to hold as much as I uh, initially was. I guess that wind's kind of dying down just a little bit, but that's a center punch hit at 4.8. I gotta say that on camera just for my reference. Next time I come out here, get some first round hits. 4.8. All right, hopefully that wind stayed the same. Let's just center punch this thing. Oh yeah, that's, those two are pretty close to each other. That looks like it just went, um, made the exact same impact is our second hit. That little black splash just got bigger. So that's a good grouping, man. That's a grouping right there. That one just went a little low, but in between uh, the other shots, that's a nice little triangle right there. All right, well, I got two more shots of non-match and uh, I'm still wanting to shoot it. So we'll, we'll see what the match ammo will do. If anything, it's just gonna shoot flatter. So just gotta compensate, but we'll see. Wow. Wow, wow. This is a hunting rifle, mind you. And it weighs nothing, so. Oh, man, that's cool. All right, last shot, non-match. If I'm not mistaken, I think that one might have snuck a little lower, but it's a hit nonetheless. I'm gonna try to plug this stuff in. Uh, it shoots with a uh, higher velocity, just a little bit. Yeah, and it's a lower drag coefficient, or ballistic coefficient, I should say. For this gun, they have so many caliber selections, short action or long action. I don't think I need to justify on why I, why I went 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, like I said, this is a hybrid rifle between hunting and long range recreation shooting. And I think it's a perfect, with the optic and everything, a perfect hybrid gun. But I do think the 6.5 Creedmoor is the perfect hybrid cartridge as well. If you want to hunt, if you want to do this, 6.5 Creedmoor, very low recoil, very high ballistic coefficient. Um, it's a sweet round, man.
Man, that's sweet. I want to end it on a hit here. Uh, this is kind of a quick look at this gun. Uh, if this is the hit, then we'll end it on that note. But uh, man, oh man, this is a really sweet setup. This is just merely an introduction to it. I'm going to want to show this off a lot very, very soon here, especially when I shoot long range in Crescent, Texas. See if we can't get a mile with this thing. That'd be cool. See if we can't end it on a hit here. There it is. Well, this thing's just super, super capable at the end of all that. This thing weighs, not to be technical, but uh, not much. Like I said, with the bipod, um, nine and a half pounds or so. The difference between this and the APR is an AR-15. What a light setup, man. Backpacking with this thing or just bringing it better the truck shooting. This is a lot of fun. It looks to kill and uh, I just can't get enough of it. If you guys can't too, then believe me, this is gonna get a ton of content uh, very, very soon. But again, that's a Weatherby Mark V Carbon Mark Elite in 6.5 Creedmoor um, and a Vortex LHT, Razor LHT, uh, three to 15 by 42. This scope goes for about $1,000, which is very fair for being a Razor product, made in Japan, Japanese glass, very cool. Vortex flip-up caps, these are really, really nice. They come up here, and if you wanna you know, get a little bit more low profile, get some better peripheral vision, they go down nice and flat. Um, yeah, my first day out with this gun, first day out with this scope, what a cohesive setup. I can't think of a better rifle for the scope, can't think of a better scope for the rifle. I'm so happy with this. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Take care.